of some more Magic Gathering Rise of Zendikar guaranteed foil packs. Um, so these are slightly different variations on booster packs that you normally would get. Um, so this concept of, I'm going to call it Magic with Inserts, <laughs> which is the best way to describe it. Um, it's them taking Magic the Gathering and putting um, these other types of cards inside, varying the pack. You can see it's a 12-card booster pack versus a 15-card booster pack, which is what most of us are used to in a traditional booster. Uh, it's not like their collector boosters, which we've opened on this channel before. Um, so it's a slightly different animal, slightly different beast, if you will, um, to it. Um, yeah, I, I, it's, it's all I really have to say on the matter. It is a very weird, wild, crazy ride, um, and we're going to take a look. Um, what's kind of interesting is they have these art cards inside of them. Um, so we'll, we'll, we'll take a look. We'll see what's up. But yeah, just to give you guys a rundown, if you have not seen these, what's a set booster? So this is called a set booster. Um, gather a party of adventurers and explore ancient floating. Okay, so that's the flavor text because one of the mechanics in Rise of Zendikar is they sort of introduce the RPG party aspect. Um, if you're not looking to draft, set boosters are an exciting new way to add to your collection. Each version contains at least one rare or mythic, maybe more, depending on the, the mythic you get. Oh, that stinks. I just noticed that I think I lost the follower. Oh, well, I apologize for those folks that leave us. Um, I know I haven't done a lot of painting stuff. Or maybe maybe they signed up to see the Mega Gargan and I didn't finish it, which I really do apologize. I was going to do more today. It just got a little weird in my schedule. Um, so set boosters are an exciting way to add to your collection. Uh, each booster contains at least one, myth, one rare or mythic. Uh, maybe more. A guaranteed foil, an art card, and if you're lucky, an exciting card from Magic's history. So what's kind of cool about these is that they are putting in reprinted uh, rares or older cards, uh, which I find to be pretty intriguing. So uh, you get potentially more than one rare mythic, uh, a card from Magic's past, and this foiled art card. So we're going to do a couple of packs, open them up, see what we see, or what do we get. And uh, like I said, guys, for folks that are that tune in and check us out for model painting and stuff, I will be getting back to doing some model painting. In fact, uh, if I do this video quick enough, I may do a little bit now, but I definitely will do some later. So new kind of uh, new kind of booster. So this is something they're trying with Zendikar Rises. Keep it as is. Maybe we'll do that like that. All right, cool. So starting it off, Glacial Grasp. Uh, tap target creature. Its controller mills two cards. The creature doesn't untap dirt. Oh, that's really cool. So it's a night. It's a tap and a mill card. Uh, anti code uh, cognization counter target creature or planeswalker spell unless control pays two colorless uh, if any opponent has an has eight or more cards in their graveyard instead counter that spell and scry two that's pretty cool all right uh skyclave sentinel it's a gargoyle kicker so four colors you may pay an additional four as you cast the spell so that'd be a total of seven colorless if you were going to do it uh if uh, the it was kicked it enters the battlefield with two plus one plus one counters on it. Uh, as long as Skylight Sentinel has plus one plus one counters on it, it can attack, though it didn't have Defender. Oh, because it has Defender. I didn't read that on the top. All right, interesting. Might of uh, Maras, uh, Marissa. Kicker, uh, two colorless, one forest. 
Uh, you do do do. Target creature gets plus three plus three until end of turn. If the spell was kicked, oh wow, it's five five. That's pretty crazy. All right, our first uh, uncommon of the pack. Uh, when acquisition expert enters the battlefield, target opponent reveals a number of cards from their hand equal to the number of creatures in your party. So that's that party concept. Uh, that's why you'll notice human rogue. So you see rogue, wizard, warrior. Those are new like subcategories for creatures. Um, you choose one of those cards. That player discards that card. All right, interesting. Uh, soaring th thought thief. Uh, creature rogue. Flying, as long as your opponent has eight or more cards in their graveyard, rogue you control, rogues you control get plus one, plus zero. Whenever one or more rogues you control attacks, each opponent mill. Wow. Very cool card. All right, I think I'm going to be doing me a rogue mill, mill deck. I'm going to make one because that's a really awesome card. All right, so I don't know how to play with these cards, and I would love anyone who's watching these or to throw some comments on the channel because I have no clue how to do that, how to play with these cards. Counter target spell unless its controller pays one. So you'll notice it's got this little symbol on it. So it's a land. And one color. So if I'm not mistaken, I feel like you always play it as a land. But then you can pay to then make it an instant. But then I guess it go. But then it can turn back into a land. I don't understand how this card works. Like, can you tap it for land and then play the instant? I'm, I'm so confused by these cards. So I got to read that mechanic because I have no clue how to play it. Oh. No, I messed that up. Okay, apparently there were commons in the middle because of the way that they do the pack. Um, stonework, uh, stonework, pack beast. Stonework, pack beast is also a cleric, rogue, warrior, and wizard. Okay, so it can take on any of the party party roles or slots. Add one mana of any color. That's a that's kind of an interesting card. That's a really interesting utility card. I like that. Uh, mind Drain, target opponent discards two cards, mills, mills a card, and loses one life. You gain one life. Interesting. So we did get a card from Magic's Past, which they say you can get in these decks, uh, which is Tortured Existence, uh, which is from Stormkeep, which is the set, Enchantments. Uh, choose and discard a creature card. Return target creature card from your graveyard. Oh, that's really good. And then our rare for the pack is Grap Graplate uh, Baleth. It's a beast. It's got a kicker. Uh, this spell cannot be countered. It's got Hexproof and Haste. So to me, that's already a really strong creature. It's got some really awesome abilities right out, of the, right out of the gate. If you pay the kicker, it enters the battlefield with four. Wow. So if you play the kicker, it becomes a 10-10. That's really, really crazy. Um, but seven mana for something that can just run at you right away, that's not bad either for a 6-6. Six, six. Our foil was, uh, it is <clears throat> Tuck Tuck Rubble Fort Creature Wall, Defender Reach. Uh, creatures you control have haste. Whoa. That's a sneaky wall. What? And, of course, there's a goblin right on top of it. I love that because goblins just threw a bunch of stuff. And, of course, Zendikar sets would not be them without full art lands. I always love them. And then I will share the art card that we got. So what's cool and interesting about these packs is they come with these art cards. The art cards you cannot play with. They are not cards. I, because if you look... I don't know. They're the same dimension. So you, technically, I guess you could sleeve them <clears throat> to play with the card. But it doesn't have any of the card text on it. It just has the art from the card. And it is a set of 81. So they are kind of cool. Maybe the thought process was... Because uh, I know when I've gone to some... 
conventions and things, they'll have some of the artists from Magic there. Um, maybe the thought process here was that we would get these signed. I don't know. Um, but it's kind of like an insert, which is weird. Um, some of them have gold stamps. Some of them have like better ones within it. So I don't know how I feel about that. Um, I just wanted to open these because they're a little bit of a variation on the pack. I like that you can get a card from Magic's past in it. So there's some reprinted cards. Um, so it's, it's, it's intriguing. It's got like an intriguing thing to it. So I got something weird in this pack. Oh. Okay, hold on guys, I'm sorry. These backs are weird. There's just a lot. Okay, we'll go over that. I don't, I'm really confused by this. Okay, I will. I will share that. That's really weird. I'll keep that to the side. All right. So we start off with our Zendikar land and island. Uh, we already went over this card, so I'm not going to re-go over it. That was a duplicate. That's also a duplicate. Oh, wow. Okay. This is very du very duplicate. Um, we did not get this guy. Ghoul draws Muck Lord. Crocodile. When goes around Muck Lord dies, put a plus one counter on target creature you control. Not bad. Decent common. Uh, sea Floor Stalker. Another rogue. Merfolk rogue. Uh, let's see. Two colorless, one island. Um, two, three. See, uh, you pay four and an island. See, Floor Stalker gets plus one, plus zero until end of turn and can't be blocked this turn. This ability costs one less to activate for each creature in your party. So this goes back to the party concept. If we had a wizard, a warrior, a, you know, a rogue, everybody, we could knock this down. So I'm assuming, because there are four, you could get it down to an island makes it a much more feasible ability because it's not good when you don't have that uh so we have cleric of lies bond whenever another cleric enters the battlefield under your control you gain one life uh whenever you gain life for the first time each turn play plus one plus one counter on Ooh. okay i see i see what you did there Oh, that's kind of crazy. That's really good. I don't understand how a vampire becomes a cleric, but that's fine. I mean, again, when we use that term cleric, he could be a, obviously religious to a vampire sect. He could have a vampire religion. Doesn't suck too. Uh, our first one, Relic Veil, um, sacrifice creature, draw a card. As long as you control a cleric, Relic Veil has whenever... whenever creature you control dies each opponent loses one life and you gain one life so again very much synergy in this pack i don't know if that's a thing though it seems that way because i feel like when i get a pack at least in these i feel like there's a synergy where i'm getting rogue cards or cleric cards and like i'm getting that in the pack so i think that's a drafting mechanic so i wonder if they're doing a little bit different rarity distribution for these uh, spring mantle cleric uh, creature elf cleric spring mantle cleric enters the battlefield with plus one plus one counters on it for each color of mana spent to cast it Ooh, interesting it's kind of a cool idea too i like that what bang all right so we got another uh Sindul vision look at the top six cards of your library you may reveal any instance or sorcery cards from among them and put them into your hand Put the rest of them. I think I've gotten this card before. 
And then, of course, it is also an island. And then the rare we got is uh, coveted, coveted prize, coveted, <laughs> coveted prize. Uh, this spell costs one less for uh, to cast for each creature in your party. Your party consists of up to each of a cleric, rogue, warrior, and wizard. So again, we can get that down to just a swamp if we had all four of them. Uh, search your library for a card, put it into your hand, then shuffle your library. If you have a sh full party, you may cast a spell with um, converted mana cost four or less from your hand without paying its... Ooh. So it's a, it, it's, it's a very specific demonic tutor. So it's, it's giving you the tutor ability to grab a card you need. But then if you have the four, you can just cast it, which is that's that's pretty powerful. That's that's a little, that's a, that's actually really I bet, I bet it's very situational, though. So this is probably not worth that much. Um, and then our foil, we've gotten this guy before and other packs that we've gotten, um, which is Gra uh, Gratag Bug Catcher. Whenever Gratag Bug Catcher attacks, it gets plus one plus zero until end of turn for each creature in your party. It's got trample. So. And then we got this in the pack. Which I'm very intrigued by this, but it is a magic mini game. Royal uh Roy Royal Roy Roll Royal <laughs> Royal. Two to six players. You buy one pack, it's five minutes. Objective. Ancient core ruins are being discovered across Zendikar. But the first player to locate the ruins while avoiding the wrath of the royal, uh, get ready. Open a pack and remove any cards without magic card backs. Then place all of those cards face down on the table and randomize them. Whoever, uh, whoever went camping most recently goes first. Okay. Let's play. Uh, players take turns revealing one of the cards on the table. Each card has uh, unique properties that may help the player on their way to the ruins. Commons are campsites. Once revealed, they are discarded. Uncommons, rares, and mythics are guides. Uh, when a player reveals a guide, they keep that card. Foils are maps. When a player reveals the maps, they keep that card. Players can use maps to peek at one of the cards on the table before choosing a card to reveal. The map is then put back onto the table face down. The cards are randomized and players continue. Foil, uncommons, rares, and mythics can be used as either maps or guides. Uh, the basic lands is the location of the ruins. When a player reveals the land, if they have no guides, they are killed by the royal. <laughs> And eliminated from the game. If the player has one guide, they survive. In either case, the ruins and the guide are put back onto the table face down. Uh, the cards are randomized and play continues. The first player to collect two guides and find the ruins or the player standing wins. So I think that's pretty cool. They put these little, and apparently they're numbered. Because there, it's four of five. So there are five mini games you can get in the packs. So in addition, in addition to the art cards and everything, there are mini game packs. That's which is it's kind of cool actually. I see things like this. I miss this. This is an old concept. They used to do this in Magic a while ago. They actually produced a book that gave you all these mini games. Um, and and. It gave you different variations of ways to play Magic. And that's pretty cool. Now, of course, it is buying packs. But that's that's really cool. Okay. And then the art card that we got in that pack is this guy. And again, these art cards, they're very cool. I mean, they're glossy finish. It's full art. It's 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 unrestricted, you know. I'm 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 intrigued to go through this because 
Uh, I'm interested, you know, anything that Magic does, like, first set of, I always like to try to grab. Because if I could collect a full set of the art cards, you know, something I would tuck away. It might be worth something later on from a collecting standpoint. Um, and it's interesting because it's separating the collector piece of Magic in some ways from actual Magic. Um, which makes me intrigued to what they will do next. So, so, sort of like how Secret Lair becomes a premium collecting idea. So we're not all, you don't have collectors trying to grab cards out of your set when you're just trying to play the game and make it more effective. I don't know. Interesting. So yeah, um, I. funny enough, most of these packs, the art cards have been the saving grace for my like, uh, for me um, actually making like, quote unquote, money off the pack. Um, the art cards have actually been the things that have been worth more. I haven't really hit a stride of like an amazing rare from the Zendikar packs. Um, I've, I've been doing better on some of the other packs we've opened, but um, from a cost pack standpoint. Um, but I like my rares. I mean, we didn't score, you know, we didn't score um, giant rares. I definitely didn't get more than one rare, but we did get, which I thought was pretty cool, a uh, magic card from the past. Which I'm always for reprints. I think that's really cool. Um, and they're decent. They're decent rares. They're not too shabby. I think this could potentially be something. But again, it's very situational. So it probably won't have sustaining like long-term value. Um, something like this. Green. Green being able to cast a creature of this magnitude. 100%. So I think this could see some play. And I think this could be one of those ends of beast types. So you can put it in a beast deck. It's a little bit more generic. Um, so I think this could have some longevity. Especially if there are other ways to put other counters on it. Because there's a lot of ways to do that in this set. So I think that could be kind of interesting. Alright, well that was my quick and dirty unboxing video of a couple of Magic Packs. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I'm sorry that we didn't do uh, a quicker video today. I'm going to do a lot more videos tonight. We're going to be on painting. I got so much painting to do. I got so much stuff. Um, I definitely want to show you some work that would good on our Mega Gargant. Um, our Hellboy minis, like I got so much going on. It's, it's really not even funny. Um, <laughs> so uh, for those folks that are hanging in there, I know I'm a multifaceted channel, so we're doing a lot of stuff. Um, if you haven't gotten a chance, if you're big into RPG and you really like this party concept and, and this set in general, uh, you may want to check out, we did an RPG night last night. Uh, check that out. Pretty fun campaign. If you're into uh, very Halloween appropriate, if you're into 80s horror slasher films to be exact um you can get oh geez you can get um some have some fun times fun to be had <laughs> um but we were able to uh it's called slasher slasher flick is the rpg uh it was a lot of fun very different way to play an rpg where we got to kind of play multiple characters and, and create scenarios and really embody that like cheesy 80s horror slasher flick teen slasher flick um so please check it out I think it was a lot of fun, uh, and we will see you very, very soon. Uh, as always, please, uh, if you like what you saw, please consider following the channel. Following, sharing, and liking our stuff is a great way to support us. Uh, it helps me to get into other areas and continue my rise with Twitch and hopefully expand into some of the other areas like offering merch and other things that I want to do, uh, as well as... Uh, if you are inclined, um, there are some links below. You can check out our social media, uh, our Patreon, and my website. My website, you can check out my art, uh, either purchase things from it, hire me for commissions, uh, and model painting commissions uh, You know, as a way to support the channel monetarily. You can also check out my Patreon if you're into independent comic books and comic book art. I'll be putting a lot more stuff up there soon. I'm working on a couple of projects I just got a little backed up, um, but hopefully my schedule will start to change so I could be a little bit more uh, in that stuff and get, get things done. Um, so please, please, please consider following the channel um, so you can see more. We do video game reviews. We do tabletop. We do gaming. Uh, we do magic. We do all kinds of stuff. And I know it's been a lot of boxing building and the nitty-gritty work, but we'll start getting into full battle reports and other stuff. Uh, it's just getting all this stuff done. Uh, basically, as I say, if you guys want a good time and watch a company form, you're basically watching a gaming, a you, uh, yeah, a Twitch streaming gaming channel uh, get off the ground. And it's just little old me. So I'm painting all the minis. I'm putting them all together. I'm putting all the trade together. I'm building the studio. I'm doing it all. So 
uh, just by myself, which is why monetary support is always appreciated if it can happen, because by getting that money, I can expand a little quicker than I was than I have been, uh, and start doing this on a more full time basis for y'all. So uh, please, 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 I hope to see you at the next video. Uh, and if you are tuning into the end of this one, um, come come on back. You can see what we opened, um, and I plan to do as much as I can more. Uh, Zendikar, uh, Magic, you know, all of this stuff um, so we can keep doing these videos because I think you guys like them and seem to be in good shape with them. So, all right. Thanks, everybody. Uh, always, please stay safe. Wash your hands. And please respect all the folks on this planet because without all of us working together, we will never, ever fix the problems that we face. All right. Take care, everybody. See you very, very soon.